Hello, today we are going to learn about robot paths and how to move from point A to point B in the configuration space. We will understand about the abstractions and the main concepts in this field. The content of this presentation is based on chapter 9 of the book Modern Robotics by Kevin Lynch and Frank Park. From our previous session, we mentioned that a robot can be represented as a point, theta a, that is in a configuration space that is denoted by big theta. And we want to move this robot, this robot to a different configuration. Let's say that this is our new configuration. And the new point will be theta b that belongs to the same configuration space. Okay, now we can abstract the configuration space we don't know its shape yet because it depends on the dimensions and the specification of the robot and in this but what we know is that the robot configuration is just a point on that configuration space and this will be theta a and we can also represent theta b as a different point Now, the question is like, how can we move from theta a to theta b? And we will find out that there are many ways to go from a to b. That answer is not that simple. And what we, the first concept that we will introduce here is the concept of a path, which is basically a function that depends on, on a parameter s and what it does is like it maps a value between 0 and 1 and it lays down every parameter lays down on the configuration space those terms are in the abstract configuration space but we, let's talk about a simpler case that is just a point in a plane this is our point, theta a, and we want to move to, or to find a path to theta b. We know that theta a and theta b belong to R2, and our goal is finding the, translate, the, the path that would allow us to move from theta a to theta b. Okay, we have been studied that there are many ways to go, but the plane is a simple case. That the key here is that we can go in a straight line. So we will call we will call it as the straight line path. And since this is a line and we have two points on the plane, we know the equation of a line on the plane. So this equation is basically theta s equals to theta a plus s. And the difference between theta b and theta a, where we have a parameter that is s and goes from 0 to 1. In this equation we can find that uh, when s is 0 we will be um, in theta a so this will be equals to uh, theta 0 and when s is 1 we will be in, in theta b. So now, as an example for moving from point A, let's say that we want to point A is 1 and 1, uh, and we move to point B, which is a little bit farther. Let's say that that's 4 and minus 2. Okay, We can draw the axis to know where those points, this, those points are, and we will have that... 
point one or point A will be around here and point B will be around here. Okay, and what we are trying to obtain is the line or the path that goes from point A to point B. So obtaining the path that describes the equation that describes the path that goes from point A to point B is simply by applying the equation of a line. We have a point that starts on, uh, on theta A and it goes to theta B. For that, we have a parameter that is S and it goes between 0 and 1. Okay, the rest, for the rest, we only need to uh, plug numbers and we will obtain our result. We will have 1, 1 over here s and we just replace the values on this side finally we just do the subtraction and we get the equation of the line that describes the path from point a to point b and this is the final result Now, let's move to a ground robot. We know that a ground robot is on the plane that we represent by X and Y. And here we have the design or a sketch of our car. Okay. We know that the state or the configuration of the robot can be represented by its coordinates in X, in Y, and phi. Right, where phi is the orientation of the robot. If we see this robot, or we see the, the configuration of the space uh, will be equals to R2, that is the, the plane, times the, um, the spherical sphere space of one dimension that would be a circle and that only represents the orientation of the robot. Now we can get a flat version of the of the circle and we will represent it as like the vertical dimension. Uh, this will be this will be phi and the plane. This is a representation of the um, configuration space. Now, the position of the robot is basically here in 0, 0, 0. So now this is time to move the car. We are in the configuration theta e and we want to move to the configuration theta b. And we will we want to follow a linear uh, line straight path. Okay, so if we see the configuration space this will be big theta and we have a point in in the origin right this is the current configuration and this is the next configuration so when we move the car in the uh, in the x-axis this is what we will have here now we have the case of a rotation where we where, for example, we have a car that rotates 90 degrees or pi over 2. So the new configuration will have the x and y coordinates at 0, 0 as well, but phi will be dislocated, right? And that will be our theta b. In our configuration space, we can also draw our pi over 2 and place the position of the new point what we will have is another uh, straight line uh, that goes from theta a to theta b we need to highlight that in this type of configuration spaces 
the straight line might not be the shortest path anymore because we are combining different types of coordinate systems like theta is is in a circle it's an angle that lies on a circle and x and y are in the euclidean space for the exercise you can use your favorite programming language to plot the configuration space of the following sequence of paths first we will rotate the car 45 degrees and then we will move forward two units we will move to the right first but for to do that first we need to rotate minus 45 degrees again we move to the right one unit and we can rotate again 90 degrees we move one unit and a half so here we have two units one unit one unit and a half and finally we go back to the to the origin in our second exercise we will have a robot that is pointing in the y direction and it will start rotating or moving in an elliptical path the robot will pass through the coordinates 2 2 1 4 0 and 2 minus 1 and the, finally it will end up in the origin again so it will follow the ellipse in this way and it will keep the direction of the robot always pointing in the tangent uh, in the tangent vector of the ellipse in this video we try to understand how to go from point A to point B in the configuration space by creating a path but we didn't specify how to move through that path we can sometimes move slow sometimes move fast and the way to abstract that is by incorporating time into the into the path that's what we call trajectory Additionally, we also want to study how to avoid obstacles in the configuration space. These are the, the, the concepts that we will study during the next sessions and see you in the next session.